Hi everyone, and welcome to the new project, Enlarn. This game is interesting, and I can't seem to find another LP of it on YouTube, which is weird. Anyway, as for the story, welcome to the game of Enlarn. At this moment, you face a grave problem. Your daughter has contracted a strange disease, and none of your home remedies seem to have any effect. You've recently scraped all your gold together to pay a specialist doctor from beyond the mountains, but it appears like even he is at, a, at his wit's end. You sense that your daughter is in mortal danger, and you must try to save her. One option you have is to undertake a long journey into the caverns of Larn, which are generally thought to be magnificent in design and contain much magic and treasure. It has been said that there was... There once was a great magician who called himself Polyneus. Many years ago, after having had many miraculous successes, he retired to those very caverns, where he devoted most of his time to the creation of magic. Though he supposedly died many years ago, you might be able to gather enough money there to cover further medical expenses and perhaps find something that might help your daughter. Good luck. You're going to need it. And if you didn't get the hint, that means we're actually timed in this game. Um, agile character. But yeah, we actually have a time limit. If we take too long, our daughter dies. So in addition to being particularly hard in general, and this is actually one of the harder roguelikes I've played, trust me. Maybe I'm just bad at it, but it is really unforgiving. But in addition to that, <laughs> we also have a time limit which means I am almost certainly never going to win this game. Just throwing that out there. Okay, we got a book, I think. Yeah, a plaid book. That seems like a poor design choice, but whatever. That's it's a ring, right? Yes. So right now, our, our first goal really is to just clear out this floor a bit and make some money, because we need better equipment. So throne. What is... I really hope you can't hear that noise in the background. What is the sit on a throne button? Capital S. Okay. And P is to create an altar. And we've been teleported. Okay. And there's what, drink from a fountain? No. Should check this while I was already in this window. I'm really sorry about the noise in the background if you can hear that. There's nothing I can fucking do about it. Q. Gained one mana. Okay. And then over here I think I saw an altar. Yeah, so P. No, never mind. I forgot that the altars require gold. And I'm really not in a position to give away gold. Picked up a large book. These books are going to be useful in a bit because basically every book has a spell that you can potentially use. I should have something better than my dagger now. Uh, plus three, plus three, six, two. I'll try one of these. Doesn't look like it was cursed. Good. But yeah, basically, right now, our goal is to just survive this first floor. Lose one hit point. Damn. Because, I don't know, usually if I can survive the first floor and I get lucky with some of the items, then I can survive for a little while, but I die to this first excursion into the dungeon most of the time, I'm not gonna lie. Most of my characters die from this. Uh, pathway out of here is down here. Okay. 
So it looks like there's more to that interior. Oh, and this is a diamond. Diamonds are worth a fair bit of money, but not particularly useful as far as I can remember. This is a very tough hobgoblin with an orcish spear. Yeah, most of this junk is just going to get sold. But, okay, well, there's the stairs down at least. I want to finish out this floor though. Because I think the second floor is when enemies that sap your strength start to appear. Uh, giant ants, I think they're called in this one. But basically, when they hit you, you lose strength. And that's not something I'm really equipped to deal with right now. And yeah, monsters pretty much just spawn indefinitely. I don't remember what the actual time limit is. I looked it up once, but I've never actually survived long enough to find out about it firsthand. So, hopefully, it's not too bad. But like I said, there's almost no chance I'm going to be finishing this. Oh, there's an interior section over here. I'll check this out. Okay, the background noise seems to have stopped for now. Now I'm burdened, which means I should get out of here as quickly as I can. Because eventually if you get too burdened, it interferes with your ability to actually do things, like move. And I think it interferes with your ability to go upstairs, too. So, here's the town, and here's the trading post. They don't, they don't pay you much for your stuff, but they pay you. And more importantly, I think they identify things for you. So I'm going to identify these books first. Charm Monster and Cure Poison. Mm, not as good as I was hoping for, but it's better than nothing. Uh, am I unarmed? Yeah, I am. I guess my sword broke. That's something I don't really pay close enough attention to. Okay, it doesn't appear to be cursed. I'm going to equip that as well, I think. So... Now, use these books because the spells will be helpful. Quick the ring. Ring for generation. Good. Can probably get rid of the dagger. And. Yeah, neither of the short swords seem to be cursed. You can wield two weapons at once, technically. Uh, basically, you have a primary weapon and a secondary weapon. And you can only use one at a time, but you can wield both. Or have both equipped. And there is a bank account, as you can see at the top here. Uh, here. And we'll worry about that in a bit. So the magic system in this game is a bit weird. You have to press M to open the spell list, and then to select one you just start typing the name on the side here, uh, the three letter code, and that will select it for you, and then you hit enter and choose a target and such. I know, I've always found that a little bit awkward, but I don't mind it. It's nice that you can just type to find all of them rather than scrolling through a really long, annoying, Um, what was I saying? A long annoying menu. There we go. I don't have the money for this, do I? 260, I have... No, I don't think so. Book of Sleep is actually really useful. I'll deposit all my money. 
So here's the LRS office. That doesn't really come into play if this is your first time playing. It's basically a tax collection office. The D&D store, which is where you get equipment. The college, which is where you can go to get training. But it costs a lot. The bank. The monastery, which will help you uncurse items. And here's your home. But for now, we're going back into the dungeon. Okay, and there was a button. V Voyage, okay. And this is basically an auto explore sort of thing where you can select an area and run straight there. Sort of. And then C to continue. There. So it acts sort of like auto explore and crawl or something where you can just set a destination and not have to worry about what's going on on your way there. And a new enemy there, um, I can't remember what it's called now, like a jabber or something? It was like green jay. It wasn't a jackal. Crate is too heavy for you. Uh, oh, it was a trap. I dropped my ring mail. I'm gonna just wait this out, I think. What is this? Mirror? Yeah, I don't think there's anything you can do with the mirrors. Let me check. Yeah, this one is gonna be... Now, the controls in this I don't have memorized as well as I would like. It doesn't look like there's anything to do with the mirror. Yeah, okay. How long is this itchiness going to last exactly? Let's see if I can put my armor back on at least. Yeah, I can. That's good. And I take it back off. Never mind. So I can't, basically. Okay, good. It's gone now. Yes, I want to wear the ring mail. And yeah, um, when you're putting stuff on from the inventory, it does actually do that. I died. Shit. Searching for the potion for 14 mobiles. Mobiles are a... No. Mobiles are a period of time. Let's try that again. Uh, the itching powder. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I forgot those could be trapped. Oh well, at least I got my intro, my intro stuff out of the way. Jackal. Oh shit. Oh, pitfall trap. That's a problem because now the enemies are going to be a bit too strong for me, I think. Yeah, this... I don't know what the fuck Ejaculus is supposed to be, but I know I don't like them. Especially right now. What is that? Sleeping gas trap. Okay. So, right now I just need to find the stairs back up, because this is bad. Down here way earlier than I should be. And the spears are really good early on. Like, very good. It's probably the best weapon I could have found right could have found right now. Snakes aren't too dangerous. I'm worried about um I think they're giant ants. Because if I lose strength now, I'm pretty much fucked. Uh, how do I get out of here then? I guess I go all the way around. Yeah, it looks like. Okay. And I'm poisoned. That's annoying. 
Uh, yeah, I don't think I can spare the gold, so I'm gonna test out a potion. Wonderful. Neither of those were good for me. None of those were good for me. Wow. Really? <sighs> Could've done worse, I guess. So now I'm poisoned and dizzy and probably going to die to the skull vault. No? Got another spear. Sling bullets and a ring. Uh, maybe that ring will be good. Protection. That's actually pretty good. Especially this early on. Ring of protection does go. What? Okay, I completely missed what just happened there. Uh, let's be a tough character this time. I usually go with Agile because the other character types tend to miss a lot. But, yeah. Um, we'll see how well that went last time, so I'll try something new. No, I don't want to examine. I picked up a short sword there. I should equip. Okay. Orcish daggers are usually pretty bad. I don't know. Orcish things in general tend to be pretty me mediocre. So, potion and some ruby. That's good. 16 carat ruby. And I'm trapped. But. Okay, so it's not a trap door, I'm usually okay with the traps. Like, falling down floors, especially early on, is just bad. Sick, wonderful. Yeah, like I, like I said though, this is pretty unforgiving. Gonna read that. I'm enlightened. Okay. I don't remember what enlightenment does. But apparently whatever it does, I have it now. I can't seem to hit this gnome. See that is why I avoid- I tend to prefer agile characters. They don't miss nearly as often. See what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah, we have a lot of health, but fuck. We miss, like, everything. It's miserable. Some gold. But yeah, there are actually two dungeons in this game. Um, this one is the easier of the two, and primarily only exists so you can get some money. And experience and such. The actual caverns of Lauren, where we're supposed to be going, are on the other side of town. Angry Gnome King. Okay, well... Yeah... No, I don't want to save a memorial. Okay, well, that's going to be all for this episode, I think. Yeah, it's been going on for like 20-something minutes. That's enough. See you guys.